I am Sadhush Gadankar. The today's concept is about the lubrication and bearing. This is the problem. It's 75 mm long, full journal bearing of diameter 75 mm. Support a load of 10 kN. The speed of journal is 1200 rpm. The absolute viscosity of the oil is 10 to 10 to minus 3 pascal second, and diameter clearance ratio is 0 0.001. Determine the coefficient of friction. We have determined the coefficient of friction of by using the Petroff equation. Next is Mackey's equation and Raimondi's and his boy's curve. Now, by using data handbook, this is the data handbook I am preparing. Lingaya, volume 2. This is the general bearing. This is the general bearing concept. I am studying here. design of the bearing and tribology concept notations are everything given in this data and book okay I will not go more details for uh, notations here these are the notations which are given here in the data and book linga data and book okay my requirement is is the requirement <coughs> that means what whatever the data is given I have to find the solution now 75 mm length is data is given here data 75 mm a length is l is given 75 mm and convert into meter here 0 0.075 meter similarly a diameter 75 mm length is given diameter is also given small d is given diameter is equal small d 0 0.75 mm which is nothing but 0 0.075 meter next load is given notation is w supporting load 10 kilo newton 10 to 3 it should be newton every time next rpm is given speed is given 1200 rpm we have to convert into rps here that means n dash is nothing but 1200 divided by 16 you will get converted into RPS about 20 RPS next absolute viscosity is nothing but Nita 10 into 10 is to minus 3 Pascal second diameter clearance size is given we call it this size is nothing but diameter clearance that is 0 0.001 Next, we have to determine the uh, frequency, the coefficient of friction. That is mu. We have to find out by using the Petroff equation, Mackey's equation, and Raimondi's and Boyce's curve. First, I will go for Petroff equation. Petroff equation. First, I will solve for the Petroff equation. Now, this is the Petroff equation. I will go. Then I will use the data handbook here. Use the data in book. I will search for the Petroff equation. No, this is the Petroff equation. We got it. The data in book they have written it. Petroff equation. This is the Petroff equation. This is the Petroff equation they have mentioned it here. You can see here. The formula is mu is equal to 2 pi neta n dash into p 1 divided by psi so we will take that equation here we will write the equation here we will write this equation here mu is equal to 2 pi square theta n dash p 1 plus 5 page number sorry formula number is 24 dash 21 page number 24.10 page number is 24.10 now after getting this formula what are the requirements 
it is now index is the size what about p p we don't know p is nothing but w by ld it can be obtained from where it is obtained from the friend sheet now this is the friend sheet now this is the formula which is obtained p is equal to w ld it is obtained from this side okay now after getting the formula of pl p is equal to wd substitute the value w is nothing but 10 into 10 raised to 3 l is nothing but 0 0.075 into 0 0.075 the answer will be for this one 1.77 into 10 raised to 6 pascal or newton meter square Next, after getting this one, everything is known. Substitute the value here. Substitute. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. Click on the app. Sorry for the disturbance. Substitute the value here. We use nothing but 2 pi square 10 into 10 to minus 3 into 20 divided by p value is nothing but this much 1.77 into 10 raised to 6 into 1 divided by psi value is nothing but 0 0.001 if you calculate this value you will get around 2.220 into 10 raised to minus 3 this is the coefficient of friction by using the Petroff equation next concept is about finding the Mackey's equation Mackey's equation second is about the Mackey's equation Mackey's equation this is the Mackey's equation I'm using now for the Mackey's equation this is the formula we have to use link the data and book write the formula formula is nothing but mu is equal to ka nita nita dash n dash into p 1 divided by psi 10 to minus 10 plus delta mu 24.22 page number 24.10 where everything is given now here ka value is nothing but 5.4 into 10 raised to 83 here <coughs> some mistake they have made it here the ka value is this is the ka value this is the ka value and this is the beta value some mistake they have done in the data handbook oh, be careful while doing this this is for beta 360 degree full general bearing delta delta mu value is nothing but 0 0.022 that means this value has to be substituted here P value is known, delta value is known, n value is known, 1 by psi value is known, delta mu is known. Once you substitute this value, you will get the coefficient of friction by using the Mackey's equation. Mackey's equation, that is mu is equal to, by using the Mackey's equation, we are going to solve it. Mu is equal to, k is nothing but 1.95, which is obtained from the data and book here. 1.95 into 10 to minus 11 into 10 to minus 11 10 into minus minus 3 into 20 divided by 1.77 into 10 to 6 into 1 divided by 0 0.001 into 10 to minus 10 in plus 0 0.002 this is also obtained from the data handbook now this is the value which is obtained here delta mu value is nothing but 0 0.002 after substituting the values you will get the answer 4.2 into 10 raised to minus 3 now third is third Raymond is and boys curve Raymond is and boys curve I will go for third Raymond is and Ramundi and Boyd's curve. 
here what happened we have to find out the beta first here for finding this one first you have to go for the formula beta formula sorry b formula this is the formula we have to use this is the formula we have to use here b is equal to pi d beta naught divided by 360 beta naught is nothing but 360 for full journal if it is a partial or half it may be because around 180 and 120 degree or 60 degree for full general bearing you have to take this one beta naught as a 360 degree write the formula here the formula is formula is b is equal to pi d beta naught is equal to 360 for full general bearing it should be 360 this and this cancel p is equal to pi into d value is nothing but 0 0.075 if you calculate you will get the 0 0.2356 the formula the formula is 24 24 point 19 page number page number 24.9 page number 24.9 okay once you get this b, b value you have to go for the page number you have to go go to page number page number 24.25 24.25 you have to go go for the page number 24.25 24.25 this is the size This is the curve. Somewhat disturbance, some fire problems happening here. <clears throat> this is the chart you have to refer for finding the mu value. Mu by size there. Now here summer for number is given s is equal to data into n dash divided by p into 1 by psi square but number of lines are there b by l b by l b by l b by l we don't know b by l by once you find the b by l you can find the mu by psi for 360 general bearing for 360 general bearing for 360 now we we'll go for solving so I will go for solving. Solving. Sorry for disturbance. Formula is for this one. I will go for following. Yes, it is nothing but beta n dash divided by p into one by psi square. If you substitute the values, everything you will get the answer as 0 0.11 but you required what b by l is required we don't know b by l then b divided by l b is nothing but which is opted here 0 0.2356 divided by l is nothing but 0 0.075 you will get the value around 3.1 now b by l is nothing but 3.1 and yes number is summer for number is 0 0.11 go for here this is 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.22 0 0.3 13 14 15 therefore 1 we'll go for 3 here approximate here i'll get the value of here as 4.5 that means with the help of the graph with the help of the graph around 0 0.11 the line is b by l is nothing but 3.1 you get the value of mu by psi as 4.5 once you get the value of 4.5 mu is equal to 4.5 just cross multiply mu is equal to 4.5 into 0 0.0 
zero one zero one he will get answer as four point five into ten raised to minus three. I am Sudarshan Kar. Thank you very much.